Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our video. In today's video, we're checking out the brand new Vehicle Legends update. In this update, we have the new limited aggressor AGRR Torino, the new Bever H45 EGS V307, new Anonemia Verona DWC, and some bug fixes. Definitely some strange car names, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, now we're in the dealership. I'm gonna have all the stats shown on the side here. Feel free to pause to take a look at them if you want. Alright, so first up, the Mercedes right here. Nothing special. I mean, the engine and doors open. It's really low for some reason. The wheels look a bit tiny, but besides that, I have not much more to say about it. You know, it's nothing special really. It's $59,800. Next up, the Alfa Romeo. Now, this thing's pretty cool. Let me open it up and show you why. Look at the interior here. The seat belt extends from this roll cage all the way to the front seats. That's super sick looking. Um, this thing will be $210,000. Um, yeah, pretty cool sedan, I guess. Um, next up, the limited Koenig set. Go ahead and get this car. This is the CCXR Trevita. It goes limited in 12 days and 22 hours, and it'll set you back five million. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it. Look at how good it looks in like every color. We just saw it in red. Look at it in these blues. The green looks really nice. Yellow, orange, it looks good in every color. Orange especially, I like. Um, look at the carbon fiber in the engine bay. That looks so good. I'm just admiring the beauty of this model. Wow, this car's amazing looking. We got the interior looking fresh. Super good looking car. I think I'm gonna go ahead and max this out and we're gonna test this car in today's video. All right, I've gone ahead and maxed this car out and I've upgraded it. Check this thing out. It is slammed to the floor. We got the doors open up, the roof off. This thing looks so good. I got a white interior on it. And then a blue exterior. I'm in love with this spec. One thing I do want to try though, let me go ahead and do this. What if, ooh, look at that with the blue interior. We got the ultimate blue car right here. This thing is sick. Okay, yes, I love it. This thing looks so good. Oh my God, this thing's a beauty. Let's go ahead and um, take it on the drag race first. All right, I'm waiting for the drag race to queue up, but I want to point out, I put the ghost license plate on the Koenigsegg. Now, if you didn't know, Koenigsegg like has a little ghost symbol and I just thought I'd put the ghost license plate on because like it kind of looks like the symbol So I, I don't know thought it was pretty cool, but let's go ahead and see how fast this thing does on the drag race Let's see what it's gonna be Okay, so not the best 7.52 seconds. Let's go ahead and test the top speed now on the highway race All right, we're on the highway race right now. Let's go ahead and see what this top speed is gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and predict around 250 to 300 miles per hour. That's usually my prediction and for a good reason, because usually the cars are always around there for some reason. Um, let's see if I'm right. Okay, okay. We're actually going pretty quick. Without boost, whoa, 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 what's it gonna be? 310 without boost, with boost, 318. All right, not horrible, not horrible. Not the fastest I've seen, but most certainly not the slowest. I feel like if you're getting this car, it's because you're like a huge Koenigsegg fan just like me though. Let's go ahead and take it on the circuit race to finish things off. Alright, we are on the circuit race. It feels pretty nice handling around the track. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cue a time lapse of me doing this race. Um, oh, I've just screwed up. Yeah, cue a time lapse. Alright guys, so I'm about to finish up the circuit race, and I'm gonna be honest, this car, like, it just feels really slow with the acceleration, and the car itself just feels, like, really heavy, um, so definitely disappointing, to say the least, um, it, honestly, it feels like, um, a cheaper, much cheaper supercar could easily beat this out, so, if you're watching this, Vehicle Legends developers, or maybe even the owner, please, Go ahead and buff this car. It feels way too slow for the price. I know it's a collector's car, but at the end of the day, you're paying $5 million. It is a Koenigsegg. I feel like it should be a bit faster than this with the acceleration, and it should definitely not feel this heavy. So, yeah, definitely make those changes. But I think we're going to wrap up today's video here. Drop a like if you enjoyed. I would truly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.